Hi everyone. This is an update um, on what's going on with my mother. Um, as you guys know, I told you my mother was diagnosed with cancer, stage three um, breast cancer, and she was. Uh, she also had a stroke on December thirty first, which affected her left side. So um, she's home. She's had four hospitalizations from December 9th to January the ninth. So um, she goes every three weeks for chemotherapy treatments and then she goes every two weeks for injections to help her produce red blood cells because um, her blood count's like extremely low and uh, she's been very, very sick. And behind all of that has come some positive. You actually um, form a closeness with your parent that you know you couldn't have otherwise going through this. And I'm not saying that I didn't have a close relationship with my mother, but it's just on a different level. And how this has affected me is that I've realized so much about me. I didn't know that I had so much patience. Um, I have a type A personality, so it's like always this, 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 this. And it has brought me down to another level. And learning to just appreciate your health Learning to appreciate just the small things in life that we have always taken for granted. You know, taken for granted, like, you know, when you have a cold, you know, you want to tend to stay at home or you have a slight headache and how that affects you. But seeing my mother battle right now, a headache, a sniffle or cough or whatever is absolutely nothing. Um, the, my level of complaint has changed. My outlook on how I view my space at home has changed. I mean, my house is always my home, but it feels more like at home right now because she's here. And my girls are loving it. I mean, my oldest has, I mean, she's just in awe because she gets to see her granny every single day, which, you know, is good. So um, the baby's a little too young to know what's going on, but... Um, it has brought a level of closeness between my siblings, especially my twin sister. Um, we were always close, but now we're having to care for our mother on a daily basis and have sitters and my mom's getting therapies. I mean, so it's kind of like a mini, um, hospital clinic type of setting around here these days, but we're so blessed to have her with us. And going through all of this, you kind of realize who your true friends are and who your true family members are and who's going to be there for you if something ever happens. And I think that's kind of been the most heartbreaking thing right now uh, it's because my mom was always surrounded by so many of her family members and friends. And now she has very few that come and visit for whatever reason. But, and we don't stress that, but now we know. So there's so much to take from this situation. I mean, learning how to love unconditional um, and things that you say you won't do and doing them without even thinking you're doing it. I mean, that's unconditional love to me. And... Every single day that I have my mother with me, I'm learning something different about myself. And had she not gotten sick, you know, I probably wouldn't have slowed down in some things that I was doing to appreciate life. Like I said, we take it for granted. And my, um, my advice to all of you guys is, you know, don't wait for something tragic to happen to learn something. Start learning now. Start appreciating life now. Don't take the small stuff for granted. Appreciate it because it can go in a heartbeat. It can leave in an instant. Um, we could have very well lost our mother at the, her, the onset of her diagnosis because my mother was very, very ill. She, her stroke could have been a lot worse than what it was, but it's not. So, in her rehabilitation with her stroke, our lives have been rehabilitated and our focus is different. So I just want to come and give you guys an update. Um, my mother's still ill. She's battling and I'm not going to say she's 100% or whatever. I wish she was. 
but every day is a struggle. There's some okay days, and I'm not going to say good days, but there's some okay days, and there's some extremely bad days. Um, because my mother has never showed emotion. She was always strong and just never depended on anybody to help her. So now she's having to have all of this help, you know. So it's it's a change. And um, and with her stroke, she's very emotional at times, which, you know, kind of chokes me up. But I believe in my heart and with prayer that, you know, things are going to get better and that we just have to go through this just for whatever reason. Um, but don't take it for granted. Don't stress out over things that you know you cannot control. Because that will cause more health issues for you in the long run. Always stay positive. Always stay in prayer. Always read your Bible. Always rely on God to bring you through whatever situation you're going through. And don't let anybody, man, female, woman, whatever the case may be, don't let anyone deter you from being on the right path. Because people are going to throw things at you. I mean, that's just the way Satan works. So you want to stay as positive as possible. I mean, just stay in the faith. And had we not been that way and staying in our faith and believing and praying, I don't think that this would have come together like it is we um you just have to pray and you have to believe that god has something bigger and better in store so um i will keep you guys updated on what's going on with my mother and thank you to everyone who sent me personal messages um saying that they're praying for us and that um and that you know they hope all goes well so I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you on my next video. Bye.